Whoa, 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 whoa. I, 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 know, I know it looks a little crazy right now, but let, let me explain at least, please. Just hear me out, because I, I know what you're thinking already. Anyway, yes, the Ravens, they have their number one receiver by default for the time being in Demarcus Robinson. For the time being. I did not say the future. I did not say this should have been the first play, but... It is what it is at this point, obviously, because nothing's going to change with the roster till the offseason and so on and so forth. But for now, the Ravens have their number one receiver. And if the Ravens don't view him that way, well, they need to straight up because every other receiver on this roster, like he's the most complete guy right now, straight up. Demarcus Robinson is the most complete guy for the Ravens at this point in time. Well, I mean, we don't know about Benjamin Victor because he don't be getting a shot. But for the guys that get opportunities, Demarcus Robinson is the guy. Well, we also don't know about Andy Isabella because I don't even know if he's still actually a Raven. Because, again, they, they signed him, but again, we still have not heard a word or peep nothing from Andy Isabella. But anyway. Demarcus Robinson needs to be their number one guy. He is. Well, last game he was, but that needs to continue. Um, Ravens, they have this habit. And I've noticed that a lot of Ravens fans are picking up on these habits, especially when it comes to the receivers. Um, they have this habit of where a receiver, he'll go off in a game. He'll go off, do his thing. It's like, all right, let's get it, baby. And then it's crickets. The next week, it's like, man, what, what happened to the usage of that guy? What, what, what's going on? And, I mean, we, we experienced this with Devin DuVernay a lot this year. He would be hot one game, quiet the next. I mean, early on in the season, he was hot the first two, three games. Uh, but then he got quiet. Then he got hot. Then he got quiet. Then he got hot. Then he got quiet. And then they kept him quiet. And we, we haven't really heard much from DuVernay, ever for, really, for the past couple of games. Um, but with Demarcus Robinson, Ravens, they have to keep this thing going. Um, there was concern from a lot of Ravens fans, as which is understandable, um, that when Mark Andrews returned that the ball, it just it wouldn't get spread out like that. It just wouldn't. Um, but the last game, albeit with the struggles that the Ravens had on offense, they still spread the ball around. I mean, <laughs> like it would have been spread around a little more if there weren't some drops and whatnot, but it, it did get spread around nonetheless. Um, Prochet, he had him a talk. And with Prochet, like, well, first, let's talk about Demarcus Robinson. Let's talk about the positives because he had uh, an amazing game this past Sunday. Um, he, of course, was the Raiders. The, the Chiefs let him go. Um, he was the Chiefs, like, third, fourth option uh, in Kansas City. Um, they let him go. The Raiders picked him up. Raiders said, hey, let's go, baby. We know what you did over there with Kansas City. Let's go. Raiders cut him. <clears throat> Raiders released him. Uh, and the Baltimore Ravens, I know a lot of people were thinking that this was a move that just it sounded so Raven. And it was because they ended up signing him. They picked him up. Um, and he was looking like he was going to be there, like, third or fourth option uh and he was because it was obviously mark andrews it was duvernay it was bateman back then and then it was demarcus robinson um but now he needs to be their top priority at the wide receiver position he needs to be um because as far as the mix of everything the speed uh the size of the hands the playmaking ability, the connection with Lamar, the guy that's actually the coaching staff is going to give opportunities to, um, the guy who's not going to be getting a bunch of penalties, getting more penalties than uh, when he's on the field and limited opportunities. Demarcus Robinson is your, your best all-around option, in my opinion. Um, so he needs to be uh, a more focal point of the Ravens' offense. In my opinion, he needs to be out there on the field the, the most – at the wide receiver position. Now, something else that they need to do as well. You have to scheme plays for DuVernay. You have to. You, you, you got to. Like right now, um, my vision, I mean, and all of this depends on somebody's hamstrings. But y'all remember the Dudley boys? 
Y'all remember what they, uh, the Dudley Boys from ECW and WWF and, and then WWE eventually? Remember what their finishing move was? It was a 3D. And the Ravens, as we finish the season, they need to use the 3D at receiver. That needs to be their, their main guys. Um, Demarcus, Devin, and Deshaun. Those need to be their three guys at wide receiver. Now, that's not a shot at James Prochet, but I think James Prochet is like, He's at like a borderline of the doghouse. He's like, he's not in there. Hobo ain't throw him in there. But my guy, uh, my guy on Twitter, he pointed out something that was very interesting. This is why words are just words, man. It's all about that action. Hobo said about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. Oh yeah, James Prochet, uh, we expect him to 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 be involved a lot more, to 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 have catch a lot more passes, be involved in the game plan a lot more uh, in the near future. Didn't happen. That didn't happen at all. And, like, the Ravens, to be straightforward, and, again, this is not a shot, and this is not an assumption. You see it for yourself. The Ravens are not invested in James Prochet like that. They're not. I thought going into the season they were going to be. I thought he was going to be the number two receiver. I thought it was going to be Bateman and Prochet and Duvernay was going to be sort of that third guy. No. They, they, they're not invested in him like that. And he's in such a tricky position because – He's in a tough spot because his opportunities are extremely limited. They're extremely limited. So everything that he does or doesn't do, everything gets emphasized big time. So the penalties have been killer. There's been these plays with like last week, for example, Lamar Jackson broke off that big run and it was like, all right, let's go. Oh, it's a flag holding on number three. Um, and they brought it back. They brought it back. Uh, and there was another one. Um, oh, I forgot which game it was where something very similar happened. It was a big play. Then I think Prochet just got into a little shoving match with, with one of the, uh, the the defensive players on the other team. And it ended up costing the Ravens, I think, like 15 yards. Um, so with Prochet, it's tough, man. It's tough. But I just I, I do not believe that they invested in him like that. Tylen Wallace, same thing. Not same situation, but... The investments just, it's really not there. It's really not there. And let me tell you, this is not coming from me. This is coming from the Ravens. Because if, 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 if they were invested in those guys like that, there would be no need for Deshaun Jackson. There would be no need for a, uh, for Andy Isabella, even though we don't know where he is. There would be no need for him. If they were really invested in those guys like that, then you look at the play time. You look at the snap count. Guys that they brought in are getting more snaps than them. Guys that they just signed this offseason, guys that they just drafted this offseason are getting more snaps than them. So uh, the investment is, is, is not there. It's, it's really not. So I um, going forward, since we know what the roster is, the roster is set, cool, all right, 3D. It needs to be that. Again, like I said, it, it, it depends on Deshaun Jackson's hammies. And I know his, his play time probably should be limited. But hopefully with the Ravens, they don't turn it into one of those things where every time Deshaun Jackson is on the field, he's definitely getting the ball. You don't, you don't want to give away your offense. You don't want to tell your offense before you even snap the ball. You don't want to do that. Um, but Demarcus, Devin Duvernay, scheme him in the game, man. You got you got a scheme plays for him because when Devin Duvernay gets the ball in his hands, good things happen. Good things happen. Um, and then of course Deshaun Jackson, because he look like he, he still got a little something left now. He still got a little something left, but you gotta you gotta pace it. You gotta pace it with him because again he is older. And I know Harbaugh talked about that in the press yesterday. He said, I, I, I hope he doesn't get mad at me for saying this, but he is a little older. So it takes a little longer for him to recover. And I, I was like, hey, well, it's true. It was true. Um, so it, it, it's, it's, it's got to be those guys moving forward. Because, again, Ravens, they're sitting at 7-3 and three right now. Um, the offensive performance from the Panthers game, that it didn't overly concern me. Because your offense ain't going to go off every single game. Uh, it just don't work like that. Um, but people made some good points. Like, hey, the Panthers defense, they were ranked 25th, I think, or 27, something like No, they were ranked 25th. 
Um, and the Ravens just they they couldn't move against them. Now somebody did bring up a good point um, on Twitter. They they said, well, the Ravens, uh, the Panthers played the Falcons twice, and they said the Falcons run a similar type of offense that like the Ravens do. And I thought, hey, if that's true, that's a really good point. Uh, so that would mean that Panthers they they really knew how to play up against it. Uh, and whatnot. So I, I don't know. I don't know because I haven't watched any Falcons, so I don't know what type of offense they uh, have run. Um, but that's what it needs to be, in, in, in my opinion. Uh, you need to get your best uh, players on the field, your best playmakers on the field. Um, and Ravens just they they do this thing where it's just. And I know you, everybody can't be on the field twenty four seven, but they do this thing where it's so weird where. These players, their 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 playtime will be like that. They could have a good game, and it'll be like that. Uh, then you won't see them the next game. They'll hardly get any snaps the next game. It's it's just it's one of the weirdest things. Um, somebody brought out a good point about Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews was back, uh, and Isaiah Likely obviously has been filling in a lot for Mark Andrews. And Isaiah Likely has had his ups, and he has certainly had his downs as well. It's been a good mix of both, um, but. With Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely, and especially with how the Ravens, you know, they love them some tight ends. Um, I Yeah, it can be either or at times because, yes, there doesn't need to be 50 tight ends on the field every single uh, offensive play, every single formation. Um, but you do have opportunities where you can have them both on the field uh, to where you can that, that can create more even more weapons uh, for you to have out there. Uh, even more options for you to have out there. Uh, Pat Ricard. We know Pat Ricard. Uh, I, know, I know we talked about this video is really about Demarcus Robinson being wide receiver one. And I know uh, Pat Ricard, he has been wide receiver one uh, for pretty much the majority of this year. Because he's he been getting all the snaps. He's been getting all the snaps. He, and he's just really not even wide receiver one. Pat Ricard is just player one. Because he literally does everything for these Baltimore Ravens. He's a fullback, but I feel like he's like a fullback last. But he's a fullback. He's an offensive lineman. He's a tight end. He's a running back. He's a wide receiver. He does it all. He does it all. I mean, if you want to get something from him on de a defensive tackle, that'd be a little bonus. But he already is doing all those things as is. So, yeah, Pat Ricard, he, shout out to Pat Ricard. Project Pat. He said, hey, if these Ravens re to me, they about to get their money's worth. Um, but no, seriously, uh, that needs to be the plan, in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion. So, Greg Roman, I know you be watching, man. I, I know you be watching. I, I can tell by a lot of the stuff that you be throwing in there that you be watching. So, g Ro, shout out to you. I, I love the goatee. I love that you, you colored it all black. I, that's cool. I like that. Um, but it, it's, it's time to really use the three Ds at wide receiver now. Demarcus, Devin. And Deshaun. And hopefully that will get the job done.